In my dream, I was in my mom's bedroom, this guy Gary from work. You can have a full-on orgasm when you have a sex dream, yes. Mm -hmm. Orgasm actually happens in your head, right? That that's where the actual orgasm takes place. So of course, if you are having an erotic experience in a dream, there's a, a good possibility that you could follow it through to the actual orgasm. One reason why you could have an orgasm when you're sleeping is that during REM sleep, blood flow increases to your genitalia. If you're going into REM sleep, then you will get vivid dreams. One of those theories is the continuity what is on your mind before going to bed? I, at the time, had a very long-term boyfriend. We were together for like five years, I think, by the time this dream occurred. And Gary was like very lumberjack type, you know, like <laughs> kind of like flannel shirts and a beard and, you know, like real snuggly looking. So in my dream, we're snuggling in my mom's bed. But then my mom <laughs> keeps coming in the room. Hey! How is sleep connected to things such as our relationships and even the vibrancy of our sex lives? Well, it turns out that couples who are not getting sufficient sleep firstly have a significantly higher likelihood of experiencing conflict. Second, those underslept couples do not resolve those conflicts anywhere near as well relative to when they've been getting a good night of sleep. And part of the reason is because those couples stop being empathetically sensitive towards each other. And so instead of bringing people together, a lack of sleep will force people apart. Now, it works both ways. It's not just that sleep can enhance our sex lives, but that sex can improve our sleep. What we find is that sex, as long as it results in orgasm, is associated with improved quality of sleep at night. And we've even found the same types of relationship with masturbation. In fact, my dear colleague, Dr. Wendy Troxell, has once said that sleep is the new sex. Sleep seems to enhance the very vibrancy, intimacy, and the sensitivity of our sexual relationships. People come to me with regard to concerns about sex and sexuality, and we can turn to the dreams for insight into that to some extent. If in fact they have a dream with a partner that is an unusual partner for them to have intercourse with, it very well could have something to do with something other than sex and sexuality. Because again, dreams speak in a symbolic language. So if we get too literal with it, we're gonna lose the actual dynamicism and nature of what's being communicated. But I wouldn't just sell dreams short to say, well, A equals B. And where I'm going with this is that, I mean, we've all had a dream of someone like, how did you end up in my dream? I'm married. I don't think because you dream of someone else that means, hey, I'm a cheater. I think there's something else that may reflect in these dreams. If you have maybe perhaps a very provincial idea about who you are sexually, you may have dreams where there's a sense of, of freedom that you don't necessarily experience in waking life, which could very well open you up to the possibility of exploring more of what your options are and, and who you are as a sexual being. My mom keeps coming hey. in the room and she like interrupts us and we keep trying to like <laughs> rub ourselves together, but like my mom keeps coming in like every, every couple minutes and everything kind of just falls apart from there. Really? And I'm like, I have to go downstairs and help my mom. It's kind of not that satisfying. Uh. <laughs> it can open up uh, possibilities for us that in waking life we may not necessarily explore or consider. Because in the dream life, the dream can put us in scenarios and situations that we normally wouldn't engage in, which can open up a discussion about those particular scenarios. So it can expand one's consciousness with regard to their own sexual behaviors, sexuality, understanding of sexuality. 